Hello, and welcome to our first spring broadcast of Mason Cable News. I hope everyone had a fantastic start to the semester. My name is Shreya Sarichurla. And I'm Jalen Stubbs. Our first story tonight is Game Mason, a two-day gaming convention hosted by student involvement in collaboration with Mason's computer game design program and GMU Esports. Game Mason took place at the Center of the Arts and other buildings across the Fairfax campus on Friday, March 3rd, and Saturday, March 4th. There were a host of events, including arcade gaming sessions, console and tabletop gaming rooms, knowledge centers to learn about game design, and guest speakers, including voice actors Carolina Ravasa and game designer Greg Street. There were also multiple tournaments hosted for games such as League of Legends, Valorant, Overwatch, Smash Bros, and Rocket League. MCM was on site to capture Game Mason. surprised by the game selection. I did not expect like Groove Coaster and some of the choices here. Like that machine back there, I have no idea what that is. And honestly, I'm so excited to try it. We brought a massive mix, um, a great mix of rhythm games, fighting games, retro consoles, and we even have some Jap Japanese exclu exclusive games that we brought over to America for people to try out. I think my favorite game has been a lot of the fighting games back here. I'm a huge fighting game fan, so it's nice to see things and actually play with real people too. A lot of, a lot of like fighting games now are online, and to play with actual people and like interact with one another is probably the best part. And with the vendors, I mean, they, they're all here. They showed up, they brought their stuff, and it's really cool. Uh, we've been wanting to be more active with the uh, students over here since we are just up the street, and we really didn't know how to do that. And fortunately, you know, Dame Mason actually reached out to us and said, hey, would you like to join us? And we, yes, please, what do we need to do? And here we are. We brought Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, uh, we've got a few game books and we've also got art books from games as well so that students can see you know the art that was used in the making of said video games if i just think of one event i'm really looking forward to it'd probably be the bit for grand concert Woman in Business at Mason is hosting a cookie conference on Thursday, March 23rd from 3 to 5 p.m. in Meeting Room 1 in the Hub to introduce their officers and fellow women in business. All are welcome. Register on Mason 360. The Oscars are next Sunday and it will be a historic day for Asian cinema and representation at the Academy this year. Michelle Yeoh becomes the first Asian woman to be nominated for Best Lead Actress since, since 1935. Her film Everything Everywhere All at Once has the most nominations for any film. Other nominated Asian and Asian descent artists include Daniel Kwan, Ki Hui Kwan, and Stephanie Su, and also for Everything Everywhere All at Once, Kazuo Ishiguro for Living, Dami Shi for Turning Red, Shonak Sain and Aman Man for All That Breeds, and Kartiki Gonzalez, Gunit Manga for The Elephant Whispers, and, and, and M.M. Kiravani and Chandrabos for Natu Natu in RRR. The deadline is coming soon for the Susan Scott Constantine Award for Excellence, a scholarship for undergraduate majors and minors and undergraduate certificate in women and gender studies, undergraduates minoring in LGBTQ studies and undergraduate majors and minors in social justice and human rights. Apply now for $500 scholarships by March 20th. Shreyas will now give you the weather forecast for the upcoming week. 
Hello Patriots! The weather this week was a little bit of a mixed bag. Today the weather was pretty good, with a high of 56 degrees and a low of 34 degrees. Uh, the sun has maintained throughout the day, though it was a little bit chilly. Tomorrow, however, is a completely different story. It will be a wintry mix with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 35 degrees, with high chances of rain and snow. Saturday will also have a chance of showers and snow as well with a high of 47 degrees and a low of 29 degrees. Sunday will get a little bit calmer, but we'll still have a 60% chance of precipitation. The high will be 47 degrees and the low will be 39 degrees. Monday will have a chance of rain, but it will remain mostly cloudy throughout the day. The high will be 51 degrees and the low will be 30 degrees. Tuesday and Wednesday will clear up considerably, with chances of rain being virtually gone, but it will remain slightly chilly with a Tuesday having a high of 43 degrees and a low of 29 degrees, and Wednesday having a high of 48 degrees and a low of 32 degrees. Thank you so much, and now back to Jalen. Thank you, Shreyas, for giving us the weather update for this week. The Virginia Opera is concluding their season with the Giuseppe Verdi Tour de Force La Traviata. They will be in the Center of the Arts Concert Hall on Saturday, March 11th, at 8 p.m. and Sunday, March 12th at 2 p.m. Purchase tickets on the Center of the Arts website. Student government will be hosting the spring elections this year. Joining us to talk about them is the Commissioner for the Student Government Elections and Disputes Community Committee, Oishi Mukapadie. Hello, I'm with Oishi Mukapade from the Elections of the Community uh, Committee. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. So you're here from student government, and we do know that there's an election going on. What is the election and dispute community's role within student government? Yeah, so the Election Disputes Committee, or the EDC as we call it, we kind of like to say that we're the judicial branch of student government. Mm -hmm. And we try to help disputes, as our name is, you know, in case there's any violations of any codes, just try and smooth everything out as much as possible. But we also have that additional responsibility of doing elections. And we try to regulate, host, and inform everyone about the elections and make it as smooth as possible. Awesome. So uh, for the upcoming elections, uh, what are the available positions for people to run for? Yeah, so there's two main positions. Our first one is the executive ticket, which is vice president and president. So you have to run together if you are willing to run. And then the second big one is Senate seats, which are 30 available seats right now. So if you want to run, definitely do so. Um, so those are the two main seats that are up for election right now. Awesome. And uh, so to run for these, you need to go to the, uh, to the campaign meetings, right? Um, why is it important to attend these meetings? Yeah, so the campaign or candidate meetings are basically the first thing that you want to do. They're mandatory and it's going to explain everything about the election. So rules, regulations, just everything to set it up for people so they don't unnecessarily violate a code. It, everything's just set out for them. And then also it's a great opportunity to just talk to the EDC right then and there because we are the ones hosting the meetings. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions, like right then and there, we can answer them and help you guys out. Great. So what are your expectations for turnout this year? Ooh, <laughs> um, definitely the executive ticket is going to be fun to watch because there's debating and it'll set the precedent for the rest of the year because mm -hmm. there's student body president and vice president. So I'm really excited to see like who ends up, you know, debating and then who's going to get picked. I think it's really interesting. And of course, Senate is always fun to watch, too. So I, I'm excited to see what happens, but also kind of nervous, <laughs> but looking forward. Uh, so how would you convey the importance of the elections to the student body and why should they come out and vote? Yeah, um, 
once again, I think it's about the precedent of the year. You know, I totally understand not everyone's happy with everything that happens on campus. So if you really want to change something, I think it's important to vote because that's your voice. And, you know, putting the right people in the right spots for representation is the best way to create change and set forward what you want for the coming year. So I think definitely getting your voice heard is the best way, and that's through voting. So hopefully right. we see a lot of votes. <laughs> well, thank you, Oishi, for, uh, for coming down with us. Of course. Uh, Yep, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, of course. <laughs>